If you look at some of the pictures of children holding pieces of bread and eating that bread, warm bread, you can only imagine what that means. In northern Syria is a camp that is home to about 70,000 people. Most are displaced due to conflict in the region. I was ordained to go to Syria and serve there. And during this time, uh, we had the war and we experienced the distress of the Syrian people. We tried to help them in many ways. They had difficulties in having uh, bread when they are uh, in hard to reach areas where all the infrastructure are inexistent. But now, thanks to a collaborative effort between the Greek Orthodox Church and Latter-day Saint Charities, the humanitarian arm of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, refugees in great need of food in Syria are receiving bread in an unprecedented way. With the help of a mobile automatic bakery, an innovative concept born out of hard work and inspiration. We took a couple of trips with Mother Agnes and visited various bakeries and seen how the process was. And we saw this one bakery that was a, a small bakery, which then gave us the ideas that, hey, we could do the same thing in a shipping container. A shipping container that can be transported into remote areas by land, air, or sea. The bread actually comes around and then... Back. We sat down in Mother Agnes's apartment that afternoon and drew out literally on just scraps of paper kind of a blueprint for what this would look like. And a few months later, there it was, with some help from a lot of really good, intelligent, and innovative people. With the capacity to produce up to 120,000 pieces of various Arabic bread types in a 24-hour period, the turnkey system now serves thousands of Syrians. Two more mobile bakeries will soon be built in Lebanon, another country in desperate need due to food shortages. If you look at some of the pictures of children holding pieces of bread and eating that bread, warm bread, you can only imagine what that means. And it's a, a biblical anecdote to be able to share bread with others. And it's a spiritual experience.